Hey everybody, it's JP from Dream Garden, and look how big this freaking nightshade has gotten, guys. It's just absolutely huge. One of the perks of having this around, though, is, is that, I don't know if you guys can see them, but we have some bumblebees around here. Now, hopefully they won't mind me getting a little close. Um, they usually get more protective when it's the nest. I have a lot of bug spray currently around my legs, so they're not going to want to get anywhere near those, that's for sure. But for the most part, um, these kind of bumblebees... Uh, they won't, um, they won't be too aggressive, like I said, as long as I'm not near the hive anywhere, and I doubt it's under my porch. Now, look at this thing, though, guys. It's actually getting out there, and it's stretching out, and it's just getting absolutely huge. It's had a really good time. However, we got some stuff growing up here that is more like what we cut over there. Some of that's coming back. So, I'm going to have to go under there, and I'm going to have to work at it again. Now, I'm going to show you guys a sneak preview. I already showed Mr. Dowell a while ago. Um, here's some plants that are going to be going in soon. I'm not going to go over anything except the Red Hot Poker, guys. This thing is huge, and you've heard me talking about this thing probably for um, a couple months now without even realizing it. This is exactly what we're trying to grow on bulbs, and we will check that out when we go along. But I grabbed a few more plants, rescued a few from here from Lowe's, and got that from work, and you know, I just got a whole bunch of stuff. So we got more stuff over here. And this clematis, I, I gave it water yesterday and it just, just went nuts. It just went nuts. I got so many blooms on it now and it just, it just, it just needed a little water. Heaven forbid the people at Home Depot should actually water the dang plants. Now, um, I got a fence for the back here to keep this stuff from all falling forward. I'm very happy about that. I had to get that from Home Depot. Nothing else really has anything right now. Um, everything is pretty bad um thing is is that um i'm very very impressed in how well the milkweed's doing however as um actually is expected oh look at that little let me see if i can get it guys um where are you right there check out the little honeybee guys that is just great look at that little honeybee that looks like a big honeybee so i wonder if it's a queen um but uh, that's a cute little honeybee. I've got a couple honeybees actually working on the milkweeds right now. Um, remember, guys, honeybees um, tend to be pretty passive. Um, but we're going to, you know, leave it alone and let it do its thing. Um, it also is pushing off some other bugs. But, of course, i got a lot of flies around because of this, too. Which is probably why a lot of them are getting into my house right now. That's the only downside. But as I was saying, we're lacking in monarch butterflies. However... Um, they will probably pop up in the next couple weeks. Um, we will have to see. Now, a lot of this stuff, um, after it's gone, it'll seed. We'll have big, huge seed pods, and I will have to try to relocate those because as much as I love having this stuff here, I want to do some work over here in, uh, the next season or so. And the thing is, is that it's going to be in my way. Now, it's funny. Uh, see, we're looking at some different stuff today, guys, because we're not going to go over too much. I actually see what looks like a honeybee or a some kind of hornet right over there um as where my finger's pointing i just can't tell what it is could be anything i got a mess of stuff in here um so i got a big huge blackberry bush that i'm happy this blackberry bush has not gotten eaten yet guys it's there and i'm surprised the bugs haven't come after it so um so it just got done raining we're actually out in between thunderstorms uh, I don't know if anything else big is going to come up from what we just had. We didn't have anything of what I would call a very powerful thunderstorm. Not even by relative standards. The thunderstorms have been kind of blah this year. Now, I show you guys the turkey. Apparently didn't think too much about the thunderstorms either because he's still out there. You guys can't see him, but he's still out there. And, or she, it's either a juvenile, which means it could be male or female. Uh, you just can't tell until later on when they get that little uh, sack on their necks. And uh, you can tell a lot more about the males and the females after that. But it's been around in my area picking up bugs for days. There's just days. Never see, never leaves, always by itself. Um, just walks the grounds. I love it, though, because they're great at getting rid of ticks and stuff. So, hey, uh, more power to it. Come on over. Come on over, buddy. Um, but it's, it obviously didn't take off during the thunderstorm. It's probably been just walking around, still getting food like nothing's, nothing's wrong. Uh, we wanted to come down and check out the Kwanzaa guys. Uh, if everybody remembers, um, that little worm did a good number on demolishing the leaves. And they've now all dried up. And right now, me and a couple of my folks, we've talked about it. Um, and 
Um, we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm hoping the tree is going to do good. Um, I'm not sure. But since that little stinking thing ate the leaves, it really left it in a very uh, precarious situation. And I haven't seen many more leaves coming out yet. So contrary to getting some rain today, which we didn't get anything enough. Because so right after I'm done with you guys, I'm going to go water here. Because we just did not get enough rain. And we haven't over the last couple of days. It's hot enough out here. It's cooled off dramatically, but it's still hot enough that I'm sweating just by talking to you guys and walking around with my tablet. So, you know, that's it's still mildly bad out here, but it has cooled off enough so I can come out and water and I just have a lot more to do. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. So we're going to kind of uh, do a walk around the garden and just check on a few things. Um, one of which is, is that I don't know. Oh, well, first off, let's show you guys the berries. There's one of the nice blackish berries that this is gonna this gets every time it's done blooming. It's really filled out. However, it's also growing new sprouts that are heading more towards the ground. Now I'm gonna have to check on that. See, it grew. You guys can tell. Here's the ends. Here's the ends right here. And then, and sorry about the, the lack of focus, guys. It, it's, you know how my camera works. And then it grew all these things out around it. Now, I've got a, yeah, there it is. Bye-bye, little Japanese beetle. I knew it. I, uh, I've got to get really tough on this plant because I haven't been taking enough care of it by spraying it down and stuff because it didn't look like it had anything on it. Well... Now we're seeing, at least I don't know if I got it sprayed with the stuff I have, but it might be up for another thing. Basically, I just got to get the Japanese beetle traps up. So these didn't do too much here, and I don't know if they're going to be cut. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, apparently I am bug magnet, guys. I got these little green bugs on me right now. Oh, get off me. Oh, wow. I just got a lot of them. Pardon me for a second, guys. You're going to have to look at the um, peppermint for a minute. Boy, I got all these little tiny, tiny, tiny green bugs on me. Very weird. But anyway, going back to this, each one of these grew a sprout out. And so I'm not sure what's going on about that. I don't know if that's normal. I'm going to look into that and I might have to cut these or the tree might be showing more growth. But look at it. it just, they just popped up everywhere and it's almost touching the ground now. So weird things are happening with this. So I, do, I definitely want to show you guys that. Uh, we could go look at the raspberry bushes, but not much has really changed with that, guys. I think there might be a naturally growing local plant around here that i'm going to show you guys once uh, i get around to it but we're going to take a we're going to take a walk around and look at a lot of the blooms guys there's my astilbe it's getting its color and it'll turn a much better looking pink than that in the next couple weeks so i want to show you guys that here is the beginning of the twist and shout hydrangea which my mother doesn't think that there's snails around look at that big old snail there's snails around here but look how it's starting guys it's starting in a purplish blue color. It's probably going to turn pink, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully, the snails are not going to be a problem. If they don't eat too much of my plant, I won't come out and spray it, and they won't have a problem. But we shall see, because nobody knew this. Snails are insects, which means when I spray my stuff down, it'll work on them just as well as it would on any stinking insect. So, not much else going on. Um, I'm just checking on the tree guys on the way by. Um, it doesn't look like it's doing too bad. Um, it's got a lot of growth in it too. And a lot of our stuff that we planted on the wayside of the pathway is doing pretty good. Uh, some of the weeds are trying to grow in. Look at the cat mint guys, which is a, another breed of, of, um, it's another breed of, um, catnip. It's doing really well. And then look at that Veronica over there, guys. The first love. It's losing it on the main, the main buds are starting to go bye-bye but it's growing exponentially more of them as you can see and that's just a beautiful pink color i set my filter a little better but it still doesn't really show it in its in its full glory i'm apologizing in advance guys but it is the number of buds it's getting is just phenomenal we got a nice we got a nice sun there i won't blind you guys with it but sun is coming out a little bit unfortunately that'll make it hotter as i'm walking around everything over here is doing pretty good however the weeds have gone gaga nuts and that's going to be a problem so the thing is and if nobody can see i'll show you i'm actually starting to grow milkweed right in between and so it's growing everywhere it's going just nuts uh that's okay with me though anything for the butterflies to eat and they will eat it down to nothing 
So, and I find it funny, this is the hyssop. No weeds grow around it. It's very unusual. Now, I wanted to take a look. There is my hydrangea in the back. It needs to get taller and needs to grow some buds on the top if we're gonna see anything. I can see where the snails are eating on that too. So, let's go look at something really nice, guys. My apologies, I do have bug repellent on my legs, but I am looking down quite constantly, so my apologies if the camera goes down just unexpectedly. Look how well this is doing, guys. This is just growing through the roof. This is great, I love this. And the red stalks on it are doing great. They've just got a nice vibrant color in them. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now here's one of my prides and joys right now during the summer season, guys. Here's my Asiac lilies. Look how these are doing. We got some, remember guys, we had these popping up a little while ago. We got some red, we got some pink mixed in. We got some more red down here and we got that gorgeous yellow with the pink uh, with the uh, orange speckle in it and we even have more down there that haven't opened up yet so this did a lot better than i thought it was going to considering how late a start i gave it last year now daylilies we still got a while to go before we're going to see what we got but we are going to see something out of those now since we're over here guys i want to show you well, i want to show you a few things for starters here's the red hot pokers here's where we grew them from bulbs and i can tell you guys the leaves are taking on a very unique texture so they should be doing something. They're not. Now it could be because of the weeds, I admit to it. But those things are pretty strong. They should be, pardon me. They should be cutting right through those weeds. And I just don't think they want to grow this season. So getting that other one, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the other one, will work out very well. This guys, check it out. It's doing very well, leafed up a lot. And we're starting to get what looks like new growth. Now, let me skip, switch over so my shadow is in the way, guys. And I want to show you. It looks like right in here where my finger is. This is where the buds were the last time. We might be getting some new growth in there. This might be what this thing mentioned about during the fall season. It'll keep blooming and show color. Catnip. A lot of stuff I got to do about this. However, it is starting to come up, guys. It is starting to bloom. There's supposed to be a lot of stuff you're supposed to do with catnip when it blooms. Um... <laughs> with mine i'm not so sure what i'll end up doing but we will end up doing something just matter of time um oops i almost got i know i did get smacked in the head by that that tree's just been leaning our blossoms for our clematis over here guys as you saw i did buy a new one they're kind of coming and going but look at the fact that it actually grew to the back so now as you guys know i've been trying to get it to climb the tree there's some indications as this bud right here shows it might be heading in that direction. We'll see what happens in the future. Now, we're gonna take a quick walk around and then we're gonna go hit the shade spot over by the big tree last. Um, I can guarantee you that, guys. Nothing on nothing has happened with these guys. These are supposed to be those bellflowers my mother gave me. I'm starting to really wonder if they already came and went in their season. This isn't growing on anymore, but it still looks very nice. Um, it's actually turning more of a reddish color right now as it loses as it blooms So the buds came the blooms came and now it's going back to what looks like the buds again, and they look a little bit more red so Creeping flocks guys More and more of the creeping flocks is coming up now. I gotta fix these things these things guys This one somebody had one. This is not mine and it actually blew over here. It's the weirdest thing Here's where the bellflowers were, guys. I think this has just gone by, but it's growing some new growth in here and in here. So it's doing good. Delphinium there is just going to go by soon, guys. It's, it's time for it to go by. Um, I'm really hoping for the creeping flocks down here, guys, to show what its brethren over there has been doing. But we'll see. I tell you guys, the sun's coming back out, and I'm sweating under my shirt. I would have liked to come out here without a shirt, but bugs did not make it a good idea. Sea holly is really looking exactly what you guys are seeing through the filter. It's got some incredible color. Now, it's also got a whole crap ton of these bugs. Get off it, stupid beetles. I got these little weird beetles, and I got some bugs on here that I have no idea what they are, but I don't think they're harming it. The other one worried me because I still think it's the beginning stages of... Um, Japanese beetles time the lemon time is just doing incredibly well. It hasn't even lost any of its any of its look Now let's go check it out guys real quick uh, We have a couple things to check over here one of which is 
is the tree's still doing pretty good. This is going to be our red maple. It hasn't got quite the growth in it that the other tree has, but it's still looking pretty good, guys. However, just like anything else, you can see where something's been eating at it. Uh, I'm going to hope the peppermint's going to help with that. Um, we'll have to wait and see if it gets anything else or it starts losing more leaves. It's going to get the spray down that the other stuff has got. Boxwood's doing pretty good. However, much like everything else around here, it needs some water. That sprinkler went pretty good last night for about an hour, so it did help out around here. But the thing is, is that, oh, okay, guys, you'll have to pardon me. Something bit me. It, uh, I think I found the little bug that bit me. I think it was horsefly. But, uh, the stuff back here is doing pretty good. All right, guys, you'll have to pardon me for a second. I'm trying to see if I've got anything on the inside of my shirt that would explain why it felt like something bit me lately the bugs have been pretty nasty and they've been going right up my shirt i found a fly creeping up the uh right side of me yesterday like it was something out of a horror movie just crawling up my inside went right up my shirt and was crawling right up the inside so the bugs have been pretty tenacious hence the reason why look at how bad they're being while i have this shirt on can you imagine if i didn't have this shirt on guys but uh just wanted to take a look over there everything's looking pretty nice um you know this is going by that however is coming up both of them both and then even the butterfly weed in the back so everything doing pretty well there guys however as some things come some things go and it looks like uh some of this is going right now and now i found why i've got so much bird poop on these is because the um the bluebirds like to hang around here they like to hang on this and hang on top of this they like to perch here while they look for bugs and worms in my lawn to eat now one of the things that disappoints me is this is not doing so well down here and i can't figure out why um the leaves dried up everything's drying up now i thought i think it might have gotten something on it i'm not sure see you guys it looks like there's a type of webbing in here so I think something was using this as base camp. Uh, but basically those leaves are going bye-bye. Something happened. I wasn't quite sure what, but something was happening to those leaves. Uh, the overall thing itself is looking like it's pretty good, but I'm thinking uh, this particular root right here might not do me a lot of good. I'm thinking what also might happen is, you guys can't see it, but right here where my thumb is, it looks like it might have got snapped. So that happens. Um, we'll have to try it again see if we can get it to climb along the root guys here the rest of it is however doing really good guys it's climbing along i just got to get it to come from here to here and we've got plenty of see where we snapped this one off a little while ago guys it grew back in multiple places so other things are doing really good on that and i wanted to show everybody the progress of that because i'm very happy um we've already looked at the butterfly garden guys we've looked at the asiatic garden our blazing star is doing pretty good however a lot of this stuff does need good proper weeding i won't deny it um it's just something with the heat and my lack of time i haven't had a chance to do so it's the unfortunate thing you guys can see now this has made a good recovery we're starting to get a new blossom on that all this stuff is going to get a little bit more rain tonight from me and from the natural weather so hopefully it'll start to get a little bit more life in it um this thing here is just through the roof this stone crop is just doing excellent it must love where it is this on the other hand is doing a little dicey the delphinium i haven't been able to figure out what's going on with this thing now this dried stuff here is just where the buds came off but it just i don't know i don't know um i'm gonna double check guys while you're here is it more than four hours of sun okay so this thing is supposedly supposed to like sunlight but I'm seeing some indications that it doesn't. Now, however, it looks like we've got something webbing it up. And I think we might either have some kind of pest on here like mites. That could be part of the problem. Or it could be the heat that we've had over the last couple of days. But you've seen my other videos. Something's just looked off. But tonight, I'm going to have to bring the hose around here. Uh, when we get over there, guys, I will show you over by the tree why I think we might get more natural rain coming in very shortly. Um, it's 
just over in the next door area and I don't know um, what's gonna come this way but uh, we'll give you guys a second to view over here while I get prepared to show you guys um, how just amazing the blooms on the actually hosta is what we got coming this way and one of these is actually in the direction of where my friend chunky jeffrey lives but uh there we go guys you're not mistaking that that's not a filter that's not anything that is dark and it is filling in it's not open sky it's black dark and the thing is is that pretty much indicates that we're going to get more rain in here soon i am going to supplement it when i'm done with you guys by doing some more very necessary rain that we haven't gotten a few days and I actually wanted to come to think of it put some more spray stuff down insecticide and miticide stuff but however one of the things you shouldn't do is you shouldn't be doing that uh, when it's going to rain because it'll actually wash everything off so the thing is is that I'm going to have to I'm going to have to buy my buy my time a little bit now if you guys pardon me for again for a second doing another one of these random checks I got to do I don't know why, but the back of my leg suddenly started hurting, so I thought I had something biting into it, but I'm just getting old. That's what it is, guys. I'm just getting old, apparently. Birthday's actually coming up in a few months. So, look at the blossoms, guys. This is one of my hostas. I transplanted him from my folks' house. He's got this nice little spider on him. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's kind of cute. He's kind of a yellowish color. I like him because he'll keep pests and stuff off. One of these could be the triocytes, guys. Um, I don't know, but something's happening in that hole. And, of course, the dead nettle, guys, is doing excellent. It loves where it is. It's doing very well, and I'm very happy. Look at some of the bugs we got on these guys. We got some of those those red beetles. Look at that. Here's one of those red, reddish-black beetles over there. Got millions of them around here, as long as they're not pests. You know, they don't eat anything, and... Um, as long as they don't mass, uh, you know, they don't do like ladybugs that try to come in your house at certain times of the year, I'm all for it. I'm out here picking up sticks while I go along. We had some of the storms were bad enough today where they actually knocked a couple limbs off the tree here. So, but ultimately guys, that's what we're looking at right now. Not much else is going around. I just want to show you guys the Asiatics mostly. Do a quick walk around, look at some of the other buds that were coming up, look at the progress of some of the plants, and ultimately show you guys that we do have more plants that we're going to be putting in down the road. It's just a matter of time. But for right now, guys, as you saw, I have a very black sky coming my way, and not a lot of time to probably get out and give the plants some additional water tonight, and try to do what I can. Some of that webbing and some of that stuff is going to be probably mites and certain things. It might be spiders. But it's also, a, an, it's also an indication of spider mites, which could mean I have a pest problem on that. So I think there's going to be a lot more things that are going to have to be sprayed down. Um, I might just take my chances, even if it might rain a little bit after and wash some of the stuff off. Because it might get some of them off right now. But it's going to be a long season, guys. And like I said, I need to put my Japanese beetle traps out very shortly. So for right now, guys, this is JP leaving you in the dream garden today. Hope wherever you are, you're keeping cool, and I will see you guys on the next one.